On July 25th, we had this blazing fireball explode over Greenland. And scientists had captured a first ever seismic recording of a meteor impact on ice that took place in Greenland. Now, this is interesting because it hit. It impacted the Earth. It shook. It vibrated. This was picked up on seismic sensors around the globe. But they're stating that with this, they were able to get new information in terms of these objects coming in and then following certain patterns, especially when they're coming from maybe certain uh, debris or debris streams in space because certain comets give off different meteor showers annually and every couple years. And sometimes certain rocks and asteroids that come through come from some of those belts and they know primarily what they're made of. Other times, it's a bit of a mystery. Some of the, the elements that they find show that it's, it's kind of an unknown on where it could have came from. But what I find very, very interesting about this is when you look at where they're saying this happened, this happened up here in Greenland. Now, if you go back to a recent story they broke here within the past year or so, they were talking, well, how within the past six months, they were talking about how they now have proof of a massive meteor crater up here in Greenland, one of the largest they've ever discovered, and it's covered in snow and ice, and they say that it happened around 13,000 years ago. And what's crazy is that puts it right on par with the flooding with all the other events that we've seen, and as Graham Han Hancock and others have talked about in their theories, there's these huge circles that were discovered in the Carolinas and in America. These huge circles that did not have rocks in them, so they could not have been impact craters from rocks. So what they suggested is that it was huge chunks of ice and that it melted. That's why there's nothing there. It now makes sense if you go back and add this all together to 13,000 years ago, 12, 13,000 years ago, a huge object comes in, smashes into Greenland, and those ice chunks actually flew back and landed in America in several other locations, showing proof of this impact. And that series of events started to change everything. This Everything starts to fall in line here in terms of that story and this impact. But this most recent event, the same trajectory coming in and blowing up in roughly the same area. So wanted to make mention of that. I'm going to break that down in more detail on the live show Friday nights. Make sure to join us underground world news live every Friday night, 8 PM Eastern Dabu 7, 7. I'm going to leave links below and until next time, it's been Dabu 7 eyes to the skies.